Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, you will learn an incredible and most profitable trading strategy. With this strategy, you can easily generate more income on a consistent basis by trading in the crypto stocks and the Forex markets. So make sure you definitely pay close attention to every detail in this video and watch to the end of the video to better grasp the values in this strategy. To help us in creating content like this, please click the like button for the YouTube algorithm, subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified when we upload a new video. So without further ado, let's get started. First of all, you are going to want to open tradingview.com and select the Avalanche USDT contract. Now, my chart is set to the one hour time frame for this strategy, but keep in mind you can use this strategy on all time frames and this strategy can also be profitable on all financial asset classes. Now, it's time to add the indicators to our chart. We are going to use three free indicators in the strategy, so let's go ahead and click on the indicators. Open the indicators tab from this top page in trading view, then select the indicator which is pivot, support and resistance. Click this indicator here written by trading with hashish. Now, go to the setting of the indicator to set up the indicator. On this input section, you are going to change the first option to 15, then go to the style section and uncheck this downward continuation option and the entry point and these three options here and then click OK. Now, this pivot indicator helps us to understand the price of the market by plotting valid support and resistance and then giving us a buy and sell signal to enter and exit our trade at the right time. For instance, when the pivot indicator gave us this buy signal here, you can see that you also got this green line which may serve as the support level or you can use it to set your stop loss. And after you have got these signals from the indicator, you will place a long trade at the close of this candle and set your stop loss at or below this green line. Now using this indicator to trade will not come with much directional confirmation. So let's add a volume indicator that will help us to know when more number buyers and sellers enter the market and then the direction of the price will tend to follow. So head on so head on over to the indicators tab again and search for the QQE mod indicator and click on this indicator that was created by Mikel00. Now go to the settings of the indicator and on this input section you are going to change the RSI length and smoothing to 14. This fast QQE factor and threshold to 6 and this RSI source to OHLC4. And again, the second RSI length and smoothing to 14, and the second threshold to 6 as well. Then go to the style section and change this level line to a normal line and then click OK. Now with this qualitative and quantitative estimation indicator helps us to know the volume of buyers and sellers in the market and the effect they have on the market which could push the market to the downwards direction or the upwards direction using these red and green histograms. So when these red and green histograms start forming you will know that more sellers are agreeing to the price that is favorable and they will start entering the market and the price will tend to start a downwards movement. Similar thing happens when these green histograms start forming. This shows that more buyers are entering the market and the price is about to start an upwards movement. Now this grey histograms and this gap here shows that either sellers or buyers are losing control of the market in that particular direction which could have a solid confirmation when you get the buy signal from the pivot support and resistance indicator. Now let's add the third indicator to our chart. So go on the indicators tab again and search for the extreme trend indicator and click on this one created by J Yoti Prasad. Then go to the setting of the indicator and uncheck this 200 EMA and these two shapes. And this indicator will help us with an early sign of where the price of the market will tend to move to next. Like here on the chart, when the indicator starts changing to blue, 
you will know that the market is gaining more buyers and will reverse to the upside direction and you could have waited for the QQE mod to form the green histograms and the pivot indicator to give you this buy signal before you take this long trade that you first entered here. Now let's take some examples so that you will understand this strategy even better. Here is an example. Here is an example. This is a trade on the SAND USDT contract from the Sandbox game, and this is on the one hour time frame. Okay, when the price starts forming this bearish candle from here, which is an attempt to move downwards, you got this sell signal from the pivot indicator, and the color of the extreme trend indicator started changing to orange as well and you could have waited for the red histogram of the QQE mod to start forming because it could give you the volume of sellers in the market and then you could have placed a short trade at the close of this candle which corresponds to where the signal appeared and set your stop loss at this recent high and extended your profit target to a risk to reward of 1 to 4. Now, the opposite happened when you got this buy signal here. Notice that the color of the extreme trend indicator has changed to green and, and you could have waited for this QQE line to cross above the center line of this green histogram to start forming before you will take a long trade at the close of this candle and then set your stop loss at the low and extended your profit target to the risk to reward ratio of four to one. So all these traits from these three indicators made this trade a valid signal from this strategy. Now this strategy works perfectly well in a trending market, but not in a ranging market. So I highly recommend that you don't trade with this strategy in a ranging market, but as I said, in a trend market. Okay. Here is another example, but this time we are trading on the BNB USDT contract and on the one hour time frame. You can see that when you start getting this red histograms, you got this first gap and the line of the QQE mod crossing the center line and then the color of the extreme trend had already changed to orange, which was a signal of a downwards movement. Then when you got this sell signal here from the pivot indicator, you will place a short trade at the close of this candle and set your stop loss at the high and then extend your profit target down to this point, which is a risk to reward ratio of five to eight, which is great. Now, please click the like button for the YouTube algorithm, subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified when we upload a new video. Thanks for watching, see you in the next.